Go. Hi, this is another video tutorial for Alton Byers at the Mountain Institute for your trek, our trek, coming up to the Hinku Valley in Nepal, up in the mountains up there in the Himalayas. And this tutorial, unlike the last one, isn't focusing on jazz, it's focusing on rock and roll. And this is even simpler than the last one. It's going to show you how you can use basically four forms to make 24 chords. And that makes it a lot easier to play. And it's the bar chord thing that we were talking about last time we were at Mount Everest base camp area. So you know the E chord. The E chord you generally play like this. I'm going to ask you now to do all your chords leaving the index finger free so it can act as this bar right here, hence the name bar chord. Because right now there is a bar here which lets all these notes stay in that particular tuning of E, A, D, G, B, E, E, A, D, G, B, E. And if you moved that up, then you'd have, for example, here, G, C, F, B flat, D, and G. So it'd be as if you moved, excuse me, it'd be as if you moved this up the neck, and then whatever you did with this hand, for example, an E chord here, if this bar here, made of some sort of false ivory, if that moved up, then this would be a G chord. Because this is E, this then would be F, again you're using this in place of this ivory, this would be F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, back to E. And those two dots there are equivalent to the position where that ivory is there. So when you use your finger to cover those two dots all the way down the line, it's as if you'd covered the strings here. And once again, you have E, A, D, G, B, E, and then you put your E chord and you have E again. And so right now you've got 12 chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And the 13th is the same as the one. That means that just knowing the E shape is enough to take you through many major songs, and they're all major. But now, what if you wanted to do minor? Well, you know your E minor, that's just lifting your middle finger up so that the G sharp here becomes a G natural. And then you have E minor. Here's E major, happy. Here's E major, minor, sad. Now, keep the E minor shape and do the same thing, moving it up. And you have E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, A sharp minor, B minor, B, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, D sharp minor, E minor again. Da 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 da, sad. So now you know 24 different chords between the 12 that you had with the E shape all the way up the neck and the minor shape all the way up got 24 chords and with those you can do a lot so if you were playing say twist and shout which starts C major and F major and G major you could take this E and bring it all the way up E F F sharp G G sharp A A sharp B C that would be your C chord F chord to be down here and your G chord to be here so you can go well shake it on baby now shake it on baby twist and shout twist and shout Come on, come on now, baby, now. Come on, baby. Come on and work it on out. Work it on out. You know you twist, little girl. Twist, little girl. You know you twist so fine. Twist so fine. Come on and twist a little closer now. Twist a little closer. And let me know that you're mine. Know that you're mine. So that would be playing it up and down. But of course, that's inconvenient. So what we do is we use another form so that we don't have to go all the way up the neck and all the way back down the neck, and that is our A and A minor forms. Just as we did E and E minor forms and then barred them, we can do the A, there it is, A, and then move it up a half step and put your bar on and it's B flat or A sharp, then B, then C, then C sharp, then D, then D sharp, then E, then F, then F sharp, then G, then G sharp, then A. And you've got another 12 chords that you can do based on that simple shape that you know. But you've probably been doing like this when you've played the guitar. I'm asking you now to leave the index finger free and then play it here and then just move it up. 
So if you were doing twist and shout here, A, A sharp, B, C, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G, you go, well, shake it on, baby, now. Shake it on, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. And there you go. It's a C and then an F and a G. I'm just slipping it up and down. So you see how that works. And, of course, you can do the same thing with the minor. And with the minor, you play the minor chord, which is the A minor. Again, you don't play it the way you normally do, like this. You play it with the index finger free and you've got A minor, A sharp minor or B flat minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, D sharp minor, E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor again. And that's 12 more chords. And that's why you've got 24 chords with just four positions. The E major position and all the chords that you do up the neck, all 12 of them, the E minor position, and all the chords you can do by moving that up the neck, the A position, and all the 12 chords you can get going up there, all your majors, and the A minor position, and all the 12 chords from there. So then when you want to play Twist and Shout, for example, knowing that the C can be played here or here, in the E position here, on the 8th fret, and on the 3rd fret bar, in the A position, you could say there's the C, here's the F, and here's the G. So instead of going C, F, and G, you can now go C, F, and G, F, F. Para bailar la bamba, para bailar la bamba, se necesita una poca de gracia. And then when you play your major here, if you want to make it minor, you just play the minor form. And then back to the C, F, and then an F minor, and then a C. So it works the same way. <clears throat> and so now you have the ability to play almost every song that uses majors and minors. You're not going to be uh, using diminished or augmented. That's a whole... But you don't need those in most songs, except for Cole Porter songs. Or augmented. Used for suspense, but not used in a lot of rock and roll. Basically, it's just major and minor chords with the occasional seven. And if you knew how to play the E7 like that, well, you can do that also here and bring your pinky down to the seven. And then as you move it forward, you have all these sevens. Well, she was just 17, and you know what I mean. So that's E7 to A7, and I'm keeping the same form. This was the E. I put the seventh down with my pinky on the D note here, and that's my E7. And then I go to the A7 over here, and the way she looked was way beyond to the B7 compare. So all I've done is slide it up and place the bar. So with any song, let's say you're doing Blue Moon in G, you're using your E form, Bringing it up, E, F, F sharp, G. And you know it goes G to E minor. Then C, which is the A chord brought up from here. And D. So you go blue moon. You saw me standing alone. Without a dream in my heart. Without a love of my pop 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 dang it dang it ding it dong ding blue moon. And when you want the seventh in the A position, well, you know you usually play it by opening up the G in between. There's an A7, so you can bar that, bring that up here, and you can do. Mother bought a coconut, she bought it for a dime. She put the lime in the coconut, she picked it all up. And then you put your J and your G and then back to the C. So you now have the ability to play almost every rock and roll song. So I hope that that little tutorial gives you an inkling, gives you an introduction. And then when we're in Nepal together, I can give you some more nuances. But that's basically it. Your E shape, your E minor shape, your A shape, and your A minor shape just barred up.
and just know that the root note, because when you're rooting on the E string, your chord is called off the E string's uh, bar. So if you're moving it up here, this is an F note, so this is an F major chord. Lift this up, you have the F minor. Go up to here on the G, you have a G chord. Lift this finger up, you have the G minor. Similarly here, this was an A. If you go up to here, it's rooted on the A string, so this would be a C chord. And you can just bar the whole thing, but it's rooted on this. C, if you want a minor, you shift it around to that A minor shape look. A seven is just using the pinky. Get out of the water! So that's all for today. We've got some kids in the ocean that we gotta get out of the water. So thanks, looking forward to seeing you. Bye. Isabella! Get out of the water!